Good morning, friends. I hope everyone is, ex is as excited as I am to be here today. Let's start by singing our song. Are you ready? Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good, good. It is time to start our day. We will learn and work and play. Good morning, little sprouts. How are you? Good. Good, great job singing our song. All right, friends, I want to know how you're doing today. Can you tell me? Great job. Today, I feel pretty good. I feel happy and I feel rested. So today gets two thumbs up for me. All right, let's say good morning to mummies or daddies. Good morning to brothers or sisters. And good morning to me, Miss Tracy. Good morning, friends. All right, so today we're gonna keep talking about Father's Day. We're gonna read a special book about our dads. And we're gonna continue talking a little bit more about our butterflies. All right, but first we need to figure out what day of the week it is. So can you show me your two fingers and your five fingers, just like this? There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great job. Do you know what day of the week it is? Hmm, I'll give you a hint. The last time we were at preschool, it was m m monday and yesterday it was t, t, Tuesday, which means today it is w, Wednesday. Great job. Today is Wednesday. Today is a Wednesday. Today is Wednesday and we're going to have some fun. Okay, we have figured out that it's Wednesday. Do you remember what month it is? That's right, it's June. Good job. But now we need to count and figure out what the number is. So let's go count. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So today is number nine. All right, so we can write Wednesday. And then what month is it? June. And then what's the number? Nine. Good job. So Wednesday, June, nine. Great job. All right, Miss Tracy forgot to undress the weather sloth. So I will do that now. There we go. All right. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather, everyone? Is it snowy? Is it cloudy? Is there rain or is there sun? Can you use your looking eyes to look outside and tell me what the weather is where you are today? Good job. So when I look out the window today, I can see a little bit of sun and a little bit of clouds. So let's see, my weather sloth is gonna wear his sneakers and his jeans and I think he's gonna wear his hoodie because his hoodie is my favorite thing and I wore my sweater today there we go all right our sloth is all ready to go great okay so our craft today is a continuation of what we did on Monday it is part of our Father's Day project so we made and painted this frame and it has dried. So now your job is to take these puzzle pieces I sent home, which were I think from 
a Snoopy, maybe it was a Snoopy. I actually don't even remember. It was a Christmas puzzle of some kind, but it was really pretty. And then a bunch of the pieces went missing. And so I thought we could use it for a really fun Father's Day present. Okay, so I'm gonna take apart all my puzzle pieces. I probably won't use all of these. And I need my white glue. Okay. My white glue is sticky. There we go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my white glue and I'm gonna spread some on the puzzle pieces and then I'm gonna glue it down to the outside of my frame. And it doesn't matter that I'm going to co cover up the beautiful painting I did because you can still see some of it underneath. And I'm gonna try, oh, my lid came off. I'm going to try to um, alternate a white piece and a blue piece, just because I have the ability to, I have enough pieces. And I'm not sure, I gave you all enough pieces that you should probably be able to do the same, but you might not. Here we go. Okay, so I've glued one, two, three, four, five. So if I did white, blue, white, blue, white, what comes next? Blue, good job. You don't need a lot of glue on your pieces. Some of them have color too. There we go. Okay, so we did white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue. So what comes next? White, good job. You guys are on top of it. There we go. Okay, I made it work so that we could alternate them. Excellent. Okay, so now I have my frame that has been glued with puzzle pieces. So I'm going to let this dry. And then once it's all done, I'm gonna help, I'm gonna have a grown up, or I'm gonna help myself, but you're gonna have a grown up help you print a picture of yourself to put in the middle of the frame. And then you can cut this out even more and glue it on top. If you want, like that. Um, or really, you can just attach this. And this just says, I love you to pieces because we glued puzzle pieces onto this beautiful picture frame for dads. All right, so there is our craft. And now it is time for our story. So today is a really fun story. It's a Mr. Men and Little Miss book. And I'm not sure if my friends have ever read these books, but they were my favorite when I was little. All right. I'm a good listener, read me a book. My hands are in my lap and at Miss Tracy I look. When she sees I'm ready, she will say, here is the story I have for you today. So my story is called My Dad and Me. My dad is full of fun from the moment he wakes up. He is as silly as Mr. Funny and makes the best faces. Does your dad make really good funny faces? My dad can do the most impossible things. And sometimes he can make my dreams come true. My dad is as tall as Mr. Tall and as strong as Mr. Strong. He is the fastest thing on two legs and he can eat the most enormous plates of food. My dad is very smart and knows lots of things, 
But he can't always do everything he tries. He reads stories in the loudest, funniest voices. And I can even hear him when he's sleeping. My dad can sometimes be a bit grumpy, just like me. But he's always there to help me. He has his very own style and sometimes likes things to be just so. But my dad is so much fun and can make anyone smile, especially when he tells his silly jokes. We do the coolest things together, but he also likes his quiet time. My dad is full of mischief and you have to watch out for his tickles. Life with dad is one big adventure. I think he might have even met Santa Claus. When I'm happy, it makes him happy too. My dad is the best dad in the whole wide world. I love my dad and he loves me. The end. What a good storybook that was about our dads. All right. So friends, I have two things I wanna to do today before we say goodbye. I want us to practice our butterfly song one more time. And then I also wanna teach you a new song. It's a little bit different um, about the alphabet. It's one of our year-end songs that, my, that our preschool classes in person are practicing. And so I wanted to sing it for you as well. Okay, so let's do our butterfly song. And I'm gonna show you the actions that we've been doing in school too. Are you ready? All right. Flutter, flutter, butterfly. Use your wings and go so high. Lay your eggs upon a leaf. Caterpillar, munch and eat. Spin a silky chrysalis. Rest and rest, metamorphosis. Good job. You guys are getting so good at that song. Okay, so my last song that I'm going to teach you before we finish circle time is called ABC You Later. And it's just a really fun song. And we use this song at the end of the year to sing goodbye because we are saying goodbye to the year. We're saying goodbye to some of our friends. We might be coming back to preschool in the fall, but we'll have all new friends in our classes. Or maybe we're going to kindergarten or grade one. And so we're saying goodbye. All right, so it goes like this. So we're gonna wave. And then at one point you're gonna have to go like this with your elbow. Uh, and you're gonna take your thumbs and you're gonna heave them over your shoulder. Like you've gotta go. We have a uh, waving. There's also a part where we put our fingers in the middle of our cheeks and we turn. And then we go like this. Okay, so now that we have those things practiced, oh, yeah. We'll sing our song. Okay, are you ready? Goes like this. A, B, C, you later. D, E, F, G, I'm gonna miss ya. H, I have to go now. J, K, bye bye now. L, M, N, O, I had a good time. P, Q, are you gonna miss me? S, T, you are my best friend, V, W, X, Y, Z. Okay, so let's do that one one more time together. Are you ready? A, B, C, a later, D, E, F, G, I'm gonna miss ya, H, I have to go now, J, K, bye bye now, L, M, N, O, I had a good time, P, Q, R, you gonna miss me, S, T, you are my best friend, V, W, X, Y, Z. Good job, friends. All right, that is all I have for you today. 
I can't wait for us to finish the second part of our gift, which is our card. We're gonna start that on Friday. And then I have something extra special. Um, I'm gonna make two lessons, two activities into one on Friday. And then for Monday, we're gonna do something very different and we require celery in case I forget to tell moms that we need the base of a bunch of celery. All right, friends, let's get out our working hands. Are you ready? All day long we worked and played, worked and played, worked and played. All day long we worked and played, and now our day is done. Wave goodbye to all your friends, all your friends, all your friends. Wave goodbye to all your friends until we meet again. Bye, friends. I'll see you soon.